Welcome, Stay Spiritual team. James and Justin here at the front end of the week where we like to dive into the arts. And today we're going to take a look at the new trailer for Joker, Folie Adieu. Folie Adieu. Hopefully I said that right. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Let's get out of here. I think I went with you to, to the theater to see the first one. You did. We did. Um, yeah, it's not really my wife's cup of tea, but it looks interesting now. Is it true? I heard that they might be incorporating some type of a musical element into this thing. That's what I heard too. Yeah, that's the Lady Gaga. I guess is probably a perfect uh, fit then. Is now is she supposed to be uh, like who's that other DC villain the, with the ponytails? Harley, Harley Quinn. That's, that's Harley who Quinn. She, I believe so she's so. playing that. I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Harley mm-hmm. Quinn. So, <laughs> to start off my statement to this, because I take this pretty darn seriously. You know, Ooh. some of the names I've given myself on this show is the <laughs> Cosmic Jester, and I've identified with some of the other Joker content we make. I try to speak for that side a little bit sometimes you know whether i should or i shouldn't doesn't matter mm. so in the first movie if you'll recall correctly when we came out i had like an emotional response to that i was like i saw the significant of it it's the significance of it it's such a important movie which i'll get into in a moment here right and i know somebody else who feels similar to me and we were talking about this and his impression was that it was going to be a musical and he was like i don't know man uh, he, he was going to boycott it or something like that. And I was like, I'm going to stay hopeful and give it a try. I hope they didn't take the teeth out of it. Yeah. Because there's an important lesson in this whole character arc of the Joker. What it really is, okay? You don't need to explain to somebody that identifies as a jester or a joker or a clown. You don't need to explain to them why they're doing it. They know why they're doing it. The people that need an explanation as to why this occurs are actually staunchly conservative people. What it really is in disguise is a warning against being, say you are, have a tendency to be more conservative than liberal, more conservative than in trade openness or something like that. You can't lose sight of mercy and compassion. You can't go, well, every, people just got to bootstrap themselves up. Yeah. When you get that way, 
your worst nightmare becomes true. People that you would go, oh, he's a clown. The thing you use to humiliate people is what they crown themselves with and say, well, then behold, I'm king humiliation and I'm going to be everything that you think is stupid <laughs> yeah. and torment and terrify you and terrorize you beyond your capacity to enjoy it anymore. And you're not going to be able to control me because guess what? I like pain now. All yeah. the things you put on me, I now embody and I like them. So you can't even control me. I am chaos. Yeah. This is important. It's a, it only is a warning to people that have got it together. The, it was what Jesus was saying to the Pharisees. You have to leave room at the table for things that you find silly, things that you find disquieting. There has to be some room for it. If, you, if you're full of rules and there's no tolerance for things that are different and you, you alienate that, that aspect of life and you, uh, you know, subjugate that that aspect of life it comes back with teeth and it yeah. comes back as something very bizarre which is something that is usually sort of tragic a clown type character it comes as wearing that garb and it comes to terrorize yeah so i hope that they stayed true to that message because that was clear in the first one yeah he yeah. says right at the last yeah. thing like i'm what happens when you neglect this aspect of society yeah, yeah. we rise up yeah that's important to remember no, and it's I the think voice of chaos. All really. good points. Yeah, it's kind of like a voice for the unheard. Yes, and uh, it for some reason kind of like makes made me think of prophets because prophet prophets are typically unheard. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if there's any type. I wonder if prophets have been looked at in the past as kind of jestery or like well, looked down upon or like they what's could be this crazy here ranting in the streets. God can speak through a donkey if he sees fit. You know, yeah, yeah. it's not even necessarily, it doesn't matter the vessel, lest you be driven mad by thinking that there's some way the vessel needs to be. Yeah. What it is, is even somebody that is very clinging to rules and structure and, um, and safety or whatever, yeah, yeah. they are not balanced. So nature has a way of balancing anything out. And just when you get too much that way, too much control, too much restriction, yeah. this is chaos Chaos in its true form happens, and it happens in the heart of men and women. Yeah, yeah. It, it comes forward, and that's what that is, in my opinion, right? Now, is it possible for anyone to... Be, yes, I think it's possible for a warrior to be a prophet. I yeah. think it's possible for, a, for anyone to be anything. Yeah. But I think, archetypally, this is what's happening with the whole jester thing. Yeah. If it is a musical, whatever. I'm, I'm open to it. Yeah. I know somebody else who... Same type of person that boycotted the Ghostbusters when they found out it was all women yeah, yeah. is going oh I loved the first one they're making it a musical forget that I'm going to stay open to it it yeah. still could be cool yeah. um, but we'll see right that's I just right. hope they didn't take the teeth out of the message that's right we'll see see if they preserve that message see if uh, they keep going uh, off of the first one and it's just as good We'll take a look at it. Hopefully you guys take a look at it. If you liked our reaction, guys, please don't forget to hit a like, subscribe, share us with a friend, and everyone until next time, stay, stay spiritual. spiritual. <laughs> <laughs>